Maya. I'm your health promotion coach. I'm here to talk about your body and the changes you'll be going through and ways to cope with it. First, can you tell me a little about yourself? Hi, my name is Maya. I'm 16 years old and I recently moved to the U.S. from Nepal where I've grown up. Okay. I'm a sophomore in high school. I am adjusting to the new school pretty well, but, uh, er, and I'm making new friends. Okay, awesome. Adjusting to a new home and school and country can be very hard. Let's talk a little about your body image. Would you say you're confident in, the bo in your body and the way that you look? I'd say I struggle with accepting my body, and sometimes it's very hard to accept my body image, my body image when I go to school full of beautiful girls and I see all these women in magazines slim with the perfect body. Okay, uh, yeah, I understand, but that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you better accept yourself and your body. I have a brochure that I'd like to go over with on how to promote a positive body image, but that's alright. Yeah, that's great. All right, promoting a positive body image. What would you say body image is? It's the way that you see yourself. All right, yeah, that, I'd say that's about right. Body image is how a person feels and sees about their body. People's body image can be influenced by their own feelings and by the reactions of those re around them. So I'd say, would you say that body image matters a lot? Yeah. Because if you don't see yourself in a good way, then you're not going to feel good about yourself. I agree. When a person has a positive body image, they'll be more likely to feel good about themselves and about their body, will be more confident, and they'll most likely take care of the needs of their body. Culture and media have shaped the way people think about their bodies. Body dissatisfaction affects 90% of women and girls. Teens who are dissatisfied with their bodies are more likely to engage in unhealthy eating practices such as restrictive dieting and binge eating. So a, a couple ways of promoting a, bo a positive body image. Uh, people with a positive body image accept that healthy bodies come in different shapes and sizes. Body size and weight do not predict happiness, success, or health. People are more than numbers on a scale. Every person is a unique individual with talents, skills, and abilities. Images in the media are unrealistic and are created to sell products. So you always have to keep that in mind. So, do you understand what we have been talking about? Can you, can you tell me a little bit about why you think body image is important? Because not everybody's the same and they're all unique in their own special different ways. And that no matter if you're tall, skinny, or you're short and chubby, or anywhere in between, you're perfect the way that you pretty much are. But there are steps that you have to take to kind of keep yourself healthy and to can maintain a good body image for yourself. But it doesn't matter what you see in the TV shows or magazines or commercials. That's not what body image is really about. That's just more of trying to sell products. Exactly. That's perfect. All right, well, I'm glad that you understand, and I'm very excited for our, our other sessions in the future. Thank you. Thank you for having me.